good morning everyone. It's the Reluctant Chef, Sue Moulton, your Pampered Chef Consultant, and today we're making homemade banana bread. So I wanted to show you guys the differences between stoneware. So this is our traditional stoneware. You can see how nice and well seasoned it's becoming. And this is our newest stoneware. And I'm gonna show you how you can tell the difference between it. Do you see the pattern on the bottom that looks like these little waves? This means that this is dishwasher safe. So yes, our stoneware is now dishwasher safe. The more you use it, the more seasoned it becomes and the more less uh, nonstick it becomes. So let's get cooking, okay? Um, I'm gonna yank my old mom's, um, you can tell it's like well-loved uh, recipe we're gonna use. So first of all, we need a cup of Crisco or butter. So we're using our measure all cup for that. Your, your measure all cup has the red for solids and then it has blue with the arrow pointing for liquids and you'll notice that there's a liquid pour spout at the bottom. So we're just gonna angle that in and you just push up from the bottom and it will scrape the sides. You can see it scrapes the sides right out. So if you need one cup, you get exactly one cup. Next ingredient we need is uh, four eggs. So I'm going to just move my stones over here. We're going to uh, crack the eggs and I'm just going to put the eggshells in here. Now, you should always crack your eggs into a container because if you're anything like me, I've done it before where I've cracked eggs and then I ended up with eggshells in it. So let me just grab a little, um, where are my little bowls here? It's happened, trust me, it's happened. So, we don't want eggshells in that. So we are going to add those in. I hope you guys compost at home. If you uh, do composting, you're gonna know that um, eggshells, uh, if you microwave your eggshells, it'll make them a little bit crispy. And then when you do that, you'll end up with, um, you'll be able to crush them and they'll disintegrate and compost. Oh, eggshells. Here we go, talking about eggshells. Hey, this is called the pampered chef, not the perfect chef, right? put those in there. We'll microwave those in a minute. Um, next, we have our bananas. So you want two ripe bananas. You want to make sure your bananas have, um, <laughs> you like that. I know, wasn't that funny, Christine? Uh, you know, this is, this is morning. I, I was up at three o'clock yesterday getting home here to Florida and I am still dog tired today. So, um, you know, it's just the way it is. I'll probably be back to normal in a day or two, but traveling really wipes you out. So, by the way, don't miss the black flies in New Hampshire. Love New Hampshire, love the mountains, but the black flies up in the White Mountains were, um, they could have carried you away if they were so bad. Whew. All right, so let's put this in compost over here. And let's see what's next. Um, uh, you're awesome. Yeah. Well, if I can make it come out together, it'll be fine. Okay, so, oh, I wanted to talk about milk for a second. So often when I'm baking, you use a lot of milk, like a cup of milk or something like that. And if you don't want to use the milk in um, your fridge, you can use powdered milk. So I buy powdered milk because that way I don't have to worry if I just feel like baking um, spontaneously if we don't have milk in the house. So to do powdered milk, you're going to use a third of a cup of um, the powder and two thirds of your water and you just stir it up. So I've got a little whisk in here. This is our mini whisk, uh, our mini whipper that came back for those of you who are interested. Um, I know that sometimes when we get products that get discontinued, by the way, you wanna check out your um, outlet specials because the salad spinners on the outlet special. Also some of those baskets are on the outlet special. So um, definitely check that out. <clears throat> so we are going to um, go ahead and pour that in here. And I'm putting all the liquids together and then I'm gonna mix those up first and then I'm gonna go ahead and add our uh, solids. So we'll get that going. Um, okay, so in our eight cup batter bowl, we have four cups of um, flour, all purpose flour. And I'm gonna use a tablespoon of our um, Cinnamon, by the way, you can get the cinnamon usually at the holidays, and I usually stock up because it's really great. It's super um, potent, so you only need about half of what you normally use 
for a recipe, but I like cinnamon um, a lot, so I put them all in. So I'm putting a teaspoon of cinnamon in. Then I'm gonna use a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. And so depending upon what type of um, measuring spoons you like, these stack together and they clip and they go from an eighth of a teaspoon to a tablespoon and these slide. So depending upon what is easier for you. I like the shape um, that they come out with these so that they'll fit inside uh, square boxes, you know, kind of like um, you have spices sometimes that are really hard to get in there. So that's, that's a good one. All right, so then baking soda and baking powder. Hold on just a sec. So, I've got to tell you my first story. First time, hey, hi, Alexa. Um, first time I cooked uh, my husband's favorite carrot cake recipe, I used a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, of baking soda because I didn't know. I, I, I am the reluctant chef. I didn't like cooking at all. Um, and it was so funny because it looked great, it smelled great, but it tasted horrific. Oh, so bad. Okay, so now we're going to use a little bit of salt. So uh, cinnamon and vanilla go in just about anything I bake, whether it's pancakes or waffles to um, muffins, you name it. I just think it uh, adds a depth of flavor to that. And I'm using the Madagascar double bourbon um, vanilla. It's very potent, nice and strong, so we're good to go with that. And then we have sugar. So yeah, it's got a lot of sugar, but you know, my daughter's coming down. So. We don't care. We're going to just make it a little bit, uh, a little bit of comfort food. Now, you can add walnuts. I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys like walnuts. You guys like chocolate chips in your banana bread. Um, what do you guys usually put in it? Do you just eat it regular? I like walnuts, but I know that my daughter likes chocolate chips. Well, she'll eat, she'll eat both, but I'm going to make them with chocolate chips because I think that's her favorite. So, we're going to just mix in the... Um, baking powder and the baking soda so that, you notice how I say soda? Yes, I'm from Massachusetts originally. I say wicked awesome and I park my car and I have a really good idea. I, I add R's where they don't belong. It's just, I don't know, it's just the way I was raised. If you're from Boston, give a shout out if you're watching this. So um, we have the glass batter bowl that comes in four cup and eight cup. This is the eight cup size. You'll notice that they have a new design. Whoops, they have a new design. The handles are um, open now so that you can um, you can nest them inside each other. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Get all that good. Now, um, for the stoneware, the un- um, seasoned stoneware, I might go ahead and season this a little bit by spraying it with my kitchen spritzer. Uh, whereas the seasoned one, I really don't have to because it is um, so well seasoned that it'll come right out. You'll know, I always say, the darker it looks, the better it cooks. So hold on. Let's grab the kitchen spritzer. to maybe it's in my baking stuff we've been gone a week so things care travel with me come see my electronics down here so we've got our panini press our air fryer I have my um, got all my paper chips up here I don't know where my kitchen spritzer went well we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way like with like oil We'll do oil and we'll do our basting brush. So this kitchen down here is enormous. So I never have had this many um, drawers to find stuff in. So I'm constantly like opening up. I would uh, I would label them if I lived here permanently. I think. Good grief! I can't find all my tools. I 
took four drawers, but I found it. This is our basting brush. You'll notice that it's got a nice little handle on the outside. So if you're, if we're getting into barbecue season, you can um, stick it right into your jar and it'll hang on the edge of the bowl and it won't um, fall into the mix. So you won't have to worry about that. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that the sides are oiled up well. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our dry ingredients. Do them in a couple of little segments here so that they mix in. Now, unlike when you're making something like a drop biscuit or um, uh, those type of uh, baked goods, those are a pie crust. You don't want to over stir um, a, a drop biscuit because the, you want the baking powder to um, just kind of leave it as a uh, short burst of um, rising action. Whereas in quick breads, it's okay to use your mixer and to just you know, have it mixed up by itself. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is gonna add our chocolate chips in. I'm gonna double check my recipe because I'm notorious for like cooking and going live and forgetting stuff. Salt, baking powder, baking sugar, vanilla, eggs. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna cook this on 350 for about an hour. It's usually between 50 and 60 minutes, but one of the things that will be interesting to see down here in Florida um, the difference because I have made um, I have made uh, sourdough bread quite a few times in New Hampshire, made a sourdough starter and had no problems and I couldn't for the life of me down here get my sourdough starter to work. So uh, the elevation, like we're almost at sea level here, it's very different than <laughs> up in the mountains. So I'll let you know how long this takes to cook. I'm going to get it in the oven. I'll come back and take a photo. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Tuesday, today's Tuesday I think, right? Happy Tuesday and I will see you all online.